Just come up to quarter past three in the morning, that'll be why. Well, M25 ain't playing nice at minute. It's absolutely gridlocked outside of here. Now, is this going to be a nightmare yard? It looks possibly like it. Oh, good morning. Sorry if I'm very quiet this morning. It's just come up to quarter past three in the morning, that'll be why. We're just out now doing our checks, making all our stickers on the box still. Oh man, who'd get up at this bloody time, eh? I ask you. So yeah, we'll just start doing our checks. We're going to be getting on our way down to London Gateway very shortly. We've got a container lock on still, I'll leave that on for now. Just making sure our plate's up at the back still. And then we're um, pretty much good to go, so I'll get off, get back in the cab, and I'll see you all in a second. There we are, we're back in the cab. Just quickly gonna build up a little bit of air just so we can get rolling out of this space to build up the rest of our air to level out the cab. So obviously we tilted it back last night, so there we go. When we get a gear. Ah right, right the spade, there we go, we've leveled out. We've got no air left, but we've levelled out at least. So it was quiet in there last night. We got that good end spot in there. Um, yeah, I don't mind it in Rothwell truck stop. It's all right to be fair. Oh dear, could have done with a few extra hours to sleep though. I think. My oh my, it's going to be a long day today. I think. Currently 112 miles away from London Gateway to get this box off. Let's say it's just gone, just gone 3:24 as I've finished all my paperwork. It's um, just lovely. It is just lovely. Just what we're wanting to start off the week. I'm trying to see what reds that were there. See if I knew them. In that turn is daft. Well, we've got a full tank of diesel still from yesterday when we filled up on A50. So this morning we've got uh, nine o'clock Wolverhampton, which as you can guess is not looking lightly as we've got a six o'clock VBS down London Gateway. So we'll need a break as well. So the plan is to get just get the box on, come out, we'll go park at the higher code truck stop down at London Gateway for um, a little bit. I don't know why these are parked outside, the space is inside. Back row's empty. They'll park out on road there, eh? we'll figure. Started that early, I couldn't even get breakfast from um, Rothwell truck stop. Didn't, didn't start serving breakfast in there till four o'clock. But thought real work is half a day's gone by by then. We make our way up the hill. Try and avoid the empty beer can that someone's thrown out. Oh man. Come on, straight out, straight out. No, are we getting a gear? There we go. We're out. Yeah, it's on a bit of a hill is that coming out there. It's I think that'll be a fun one if it snows heavily overnight, getting out of there. That certainly would be a fun one. So yeah, we've got some air conditioning in place with a 40 foot container on today when we, when we get boxes swapped. Now at London Gateway, it's only going to be about 10 ton in weight as well. Um, I've, I've not done it before at Wolverhampton, it's like the other side of Wolverhampton to where we're going to come from, which is about right. Um, at minute that is into Pentalvers at Canic that empty box. There was going to be a reload on it, but the shipping company won't let us reload it for some reason. So they said if we want if we want to cover that second job, we can run to Doncaster and pick up an empty box. <laughs> so officers have just said nah, it's not going to work like that because at time we're having to start to. Um, 
could pick up this container initially so you know we can't have it they can't have it always but it is what it is we're on the way now anyway we'll um crack on and hopefully make some good headway now it should be quiet all the way i think the roads are open all right but oh god oh dear me what a start to a morning eh oh well at least it's quiet fairly dry it's a bit windy still but obviously we've got 20 odd ton on still but it is chemicals so we're um it's not the ugly the best but we'll survive we'll get down there get it off and get the box on and then have a break so i'll get off as it's probably still pitch black on the screen for you and i'll catch you all in a little while Oh, uh, we're making good time down. Roads have been like this all the way, so empty. It should be at 5 to 5 on a Tuesday morning. Just an hour and a half driving so far. We're currently 35 miles away, so we're doing all right. It's, um, it's got us there at 5.42 at the minute, I believe. Just double check that. 5.43, which is fine. We can get in from 5.45, you see, so... That should uh, that should work out quite well. To be fair, we're good at that. So that's the plan at the minute: get down there, box off, box on, and then round corner to Higher Code Truck Park at London Gateway to have a break. So, um, we're not going to make it back up to like Rothwell or all like that without a break. So we might as well cut a loss, have a break down here, then we can give them a proper ETA for the job. Then rather than second guessing it again later on so there we go we're just coming up now to gateway 542 at the minute so we've got a couple minutes to kill hopefully there's somewhere we can stop just in like the queuing area bit but we'll see um, it's not usually the case I imagine it's going to be pretty busy at six o'clock this morning it's going to be a bit of a popular time I think for people to be getting a VBS but yeah, it's been quiet journey rest at way down with two hours 19 driving at the minute we're gonna make our way up over the bridge over the railway lines and into london gateway so don't look like there is anywhere to stop we've got two minutes before the vbs starts you see which is not ideal in the slightest but i don't looks looks well, there's a few parked up around the corners annoyingly there's just nowhere to stop just isn't anywhere to stop it is I'm just gonna have to go right on the right side I think I'm gonna have to pull up sort of over here somewhere in fact we'll go this left hand side so we want to be over in that lane anyway so we'll go this side more room for people to sort of go then I see so and I'll get off and go get this booked in and um, we'll get sorted and get the box off and on and then go have a break. Okay. Right, we're just backing away out of Gateway now. I'm not, I'm not actually going to have a break down here. I need, I need to run it. I'm f four hours away from the job. So if I had a break down here, we'd only have half hour leeway to make it without another break, which is too close to call really, isn't it? So... We'll get out of here. Uh, ah, that was a seal. Except. Proceed to outbound main gate. There we go. I'll just make sure this mic is on. Yeah. And yeah. So yeah, we're going to have to run it. Uh, we're 181 mile away. It's got us out half past 10 at the moment. So I've just told him half 11, 12 o'clock for this job. Um, which, you know, it's not great, but what can we do? You know, it's we're on eight hours and a minute driving. There we go. Thank you for visiting. Yeah, we're on eight hours and a minute driving when we parked up last night at um, Rothwell Truck Stop. You know, so we couldn't have made it down here anyway because I'm on two hours forty now. I've done it was two hours 21 when I got into the dock 
or something like that. I think I said 219. It might be 219, but still, that were quiet roads this morning. It won't be able to be quiet at really five, six o'clock last night. So we're gonna have to run it annoyingly. Well, not annoyingly, but I'm ready for breakfast. It's half past six now. We've been up since half two. But yeah, we're gonna have to run it get further up the road, I'm hoping I can make Cambridge services, we've got an hour and 50 driving left, if we can make Cambridge services and put it in there and have a break, we'll be happy at that, we'll easily make it and want it from there, but it's just one of them, you know, you can't, sometimes you just can't win, you just got to get on with it, flat out, you know, we're going to be two and a half, three hours late for this job, but what can we do, you know, we ran down from Manchester yesterday afternoon, we started at three o'clock this morning, we couldn't start any earlier, that was nine hours and a minute I had off. You know, it includes cooking my tea and and everything like that, you know, you don't have much much time to relax, but I might get a bit more time off tonight, all being well, so I only get off, make a few phone calls and see what, see what my friends and that are up to and um, hope that the roads are clear, so I'll get off and I'll um, give you all an update in due course if anything develops or anything changes or just when I have something to moan about I suppose but I'll get off and I'll catch you on a little bit well M25 ain't playing nice at minute we've done we haven't done 20 miles so far yet it took us 48 minutes since we um, pulled out the dock we're coming up to 10 past 7 oh, love it just love it this traffic even better DAB radio has gone down a little bit I can't even all I can get is absolute 70s at the minute I can't get into a menu just won't load anything up well it's either that or I can get BBC radio one extra but I don't think anybody wants that really do they I need to try and get parking brake on and then I can load all menus up but we're just not getting any look at minute we're not getting long enough to stop I used to be able to get list up in truck in menus but not in nothing Jesus Christ two two cutting in at last second there you see that I see them 25 life we're loving it on a Tuesday morning here is it times it got me there and asking me there at 10 40 at the minute but we've got an hour and eight minutes driving left before we need a break so hopefully we don't lose much more time there's one more trying to get in here yep his mates let him in i wonder why we're queuing eh? but oh well oh well we're getting there slowly but surely we're nearly at end of traffic now i hope so we should hopefully be plenty of time to get somewhere to get a break probably going to be birch hanger now i think rather than rather than cambridge services regrettably but oh well it can't be helped i uh, was just pulling off from our break at birch hanger services we had what well, i think we had 33 minutes when we pulled in here when we you know left on our drive time and we've just uh, cleared a card now. 47 minutes. So we've got four and a half hours left. We're three hours away from the job. Am I even going to get out of here? Doesn't look great, does it? We'll soon find out. I don't know why the part round all sides when there's so much space in the middle. Yeah, just. Just got round. So we're on our way to Wolverhampton again. The journey continues. So we're going to be pretty much on seven hours driving when we get up towards Wolverhampton, which is always nice. Like I said, I don't think we're going to be doing a great lot today after, um, after this job. I really don't think we're going to be doing a great lot. So we're just seeing which truck one next to us. I think it might have been one from my de our depot. The returners part next to us with a fridge and I think it might have been one of ours. So I am um, exit. I don't come in these services often. It's very rare I get in, to be honest. I don't be able to see Reg in a sec when we're coming by the back, back, back past it. 
Um, no, it's not the one I fought it. What I fought it with WBD. It's WBN. Oh well. So we're on our way again. Is that audio on my con? It is. So we're on our way. Cycle. Yeah, cycl cyclists in some services. This is just crazy. What a place to come out on your bike. All right, so we'll get over again. So we're not allowed down that lane, even though that lane said exit on it. It don't go to exit in here. <laughs> it's um, you gotta love it. We have. Is it actually a lane closure or? Look at this mess, man, to get out. This is just... What, what awfulness. Only word for it, well, it's not any other words for it, but not for this channel. It's, it's rubbish. It's just been like this for years. There's some, the road works outside, that's why it's probably queuing. It's absolutely gridlocked outside of here. Uh, I don't think we've got traffic lights either to get out of here. It's just a free for all. Hope you can get out. Hope you can get out. If not, no. What? Wait. That's all you can do. They're queuing down there to get out. They're queuing behind us to get out. I finally managed to get my radio station, my radio working, my DAB. It forgot all the favourites that I had set for it. So instead of having the big list that drops down, you got to choose your favourites on these. But it forgot them all. The only one that I could get was BBC Radio 1 Extra. It's the only thing that it saved, so. Oh well, not to worry. We're just waiting to get out of here. We're 140 mile away. Got a Zerit 1150 at the minute. So oh, just getting to Rothwell again, where well, we've started this morning in the pitch black. But we do five hours twenty-two driving at the minute. You know, it's been a long day so far. I'm feeling it so far. It's usually we're up at half past two. It's, it's not great. It's not great at all, especially when you're getting stuck in slower traffic quite often. What is it with vehicles and? It's this AO truck at front, it's forming a bit of a queue, but it's that long to get past now. You know, they're doing 50, 47 mile an hour at one point. Learner driver getting off, there we go. There we go. Might get a bit more clear now, so yeah, we've still no word on what we're doing. They've not, they've not even emailed um, Birmingham Yard yet to see what we've got. They said they'll email them when we get there, which we'll probably get the bottom of the bottom of the barrel. But oh well. Well, we're nearly here. Well, I say we're nearly here. We're nearly getting off anyway. We're just 13 miles to the job. Finally getting off the BDM. Sit off at motorways at least. Jesus. Been a long slog up. It was six, six and a half hours driving since we set off this morning. Ready for, um, ready for a little bit of a rest from driving. That is for sure. Weather's starting to turn a little bit. But we're getting there slowly but surely. Well, i got a feeling it's going to be a lot of stop-start traffic around here, but... Oh well, it is what it is, isn't it? We can't do it about that. Still no word what plan's going to be after this regarding getting the box lifted off and things like that, but oh well, we'll go find out soon. 1.4 miles away. Journey is nearly coming to a coming end. Six hours 58 driving since we rolled off this morning at Rothwell. I forgot where we were parked then for last night for a second, Jesus. 0.8 of a mile to turn in onto Heathmore Road and it's straight at the end of that road I believe. So it only looks like a small place so we might have to wait to get in potentially. 
Plus, I'm not coming at the most popular time as well. It's coming up to quart. It's just gone quart to twelve. You know, so lunchtime fast approaching for them all, and all that lot. But it's not been not been the best way that I've really come to get to this job. It's been a bit a bit tight at times, but we've made it through. We made it all right. It's not, you know, it's edge of Birmingham, Wolverhampton, and that and Dudley way. It's it's not always the best, especially to try and get a bloody wagon round. But nearly there. Right, I think I can see it right at the end. Actually, we're looking for Hass Event. Let this car up. We'll let this car up. I'll we'll double check the name. Yeah, Hass Vent Limited. I'm sure it's just at the end of this road. There we go. Uh, da -da -da. A few AB bolt trailers on here. They've just been abandoned near enough, haven't they? that's that away they've let us come up we can get round this because they're picking somebody up sand hills maybe it's just past that big sand hills place then it's a daycare centre I see blue blue roof are what we're sort of looking for has vent goods inwards and customer collections I nearly missed that then because it's at end at road as well. I very nearly missed that. Because, well, goods inwards, we're bringing goods in, so. Yeah, I very nearly went sailing past that because I saw it at end at road. A little bit first time that's happened. Now, is this going to be a nightmare yard? It looks possibly like it. Or can we get out of another as a ramp? That's a good sign. Christ. I think I might need to reverse in here. We might need to reverse in. Damn it. Well I'll wait here and see if someone comes out to me. I'll go try and find someone and see what's what. I can I can always reverse straight back and then come back in other ways, so I'll go find someone and see what's what. Now they want it reversing in, but just pretty much I want a bit of a way to what I'm facing now. So I just want to be stopping at the end here and they'll bring that loading ramp, that blue one there to me. So good job I stopped here so we can just more or less reverse straight back. So that's all good. It looks like it'd be on pallets anyway that we're delivering. And typical it's raining. But no bother. No bother. Doesn't look that bad. Doesn't look like it's going to be that bad of a reverse to be fair anyway. So as long as we can get out and turn that way, if we can come in on a good side again, then you see. Oh, it might be looking tight to get out that way, to be fair. Oh, there's a, no, there's plenty of room. We'll just take it nice and slow. We should be all right. There we go. We're getting in. We have to take curve a little bit, but not too much. Not to worry. We'll get in. Yeah, that's just sort of a little bit of what we have to do with every day. You know, we could see what I was going to do. I mean, middle of the road, trying to get it in, put it in it in reverse, and then they still keep coming up both sides of us, just to get past. Absolute idiots. But no bother, we're in. We're in and we're just backing up again now and we've just come out. So like I said, we've done a lot, we've done a lot worse reversing on this channel in recent weeks. You know this is this is straightforward now here. Yeah. Just straight well, straight back, not straight forward. <laughs> Try and keep it centred so we're equ equidistant from building in the fence. And we've got room to play with then. I 
start kinking it a little bit. You just want it back end so it would just sort of on an angle on a corner, front corner. Just pass the little bollards out of there. I think that might do us, so I'll go off and see if that's all right for him, and we'll see what they say. Right, we are tipped and out here. Just making our way slowly along this road when we get a gear. So we're heading to Pentalvas at Cannet to get this box off. We're 18 miles away. We're you know, take us nearly 50 minutes to get there, but oh well, we've just got we've had a we've had a break outside of that job, so we've got a clean card. Um plan at the minute is we're heading to iPort once we've got this box off. That'll be in the morning though. We're just going to head straight to the Aldridge Yard from Pentalvas at Canick and get parked in there because we're not going to really make headway anywhere, I don't think, towards. Um, we'll see on drive time, actually. We might go for Junction 29 truck stop. Um... If we can get there about half four, we'll easily get in and then I can go for a walk and have a line in the morning. Maybe start about eight o'clock in the morning then, because I think I don't think we'll be doing no else. So once we got to iPort, this truck's getting an update for something. I don't I don't know. They said something about airport or summer. I don't know what that means. I think it's something to do with the camera inside of this truck, because I noticed this morning. So the interior camera in this truck that faces me usually lights up red you see the infrared that one lit up this morning so i wonder if that's failed but we'll see we'll see what happens so i might possibly run this a bit tonight yeah and um head up to 29 truck stop rather than going to aldridge yard at birmingham for us because it is out the way if we go that if we go there but you know swings and roundabouts really in it it's probably going to be about an hour just over an hour to, oh we could make, oh, we might go 29 then. And we're just coming up to Pentalva's Way, not Pentalva Way even, the Pentalva's in Canic. Yeah. That posh over here, they've even got their own street named after them. So still no word really any clear on what's happening tomorrow once we've um, finished with the truck whenever they whatever they're doing on it just like any true road around here they haven't got it smooth <laughs> not in the slightest but we're on time for a bbs even managed to stop and make a cup of coffee i think i might run this to 29 truck stop i think we're on eight hours five driving we're probably about just over an hour away so we'll be there we'll be there about half four ish so you know, I might, I think I might run it. Might run it and run my time out. Uh, we want this one. Don't want to keep left, we want to keep right because that's for their yard. This is for containers. This is for us. Oh, sorry for some a bit different today. I'm just, you know, I'm just, just tired. We're looking forward to, to a long rest tonight. Be early bed and a light bit of a lie in the morning. I'll we'll probably up about seven o'clock if I start at half seven, so that's okay with us. So I'm gonna get off and get in here because they are a bit funny at times with cameras, so I'll um get off and I'll catch you when I'm leaving. Right, we've been on the go a little bit now. We've 40 minutes we've done from um, Pentalvas at Canic. Got the box off straight away. We the first one in there, really. The only one in. So we got it off. We're making our way up towards Junction 29 to park up. I had to remind the office, though, about this truck wanting looked at tomorrow or something like that being requested because I asked if there were anything that they could send me through to, be, to do tomorrow. And then they sent through a job for 10 o'clock in the morning at Normington. Which is when the truck's been requested at iPort. So I said back to them, I says, well, it's truck's still needed. And they went, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a good job I remember. Good job I mentioned it, wasn't it? And asked the question. 
So we'll get to Junction 29, we'll get parked up in there and we're done for the night. We'll get a, a nice light in in the morning. So you get up about 7 o'clock, something like that. Start at half 7, I think. Uh, we'll go get the... Or maybe a half 8. Uh, no, maybe 8, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, maybe 8 o'clock, go, um, go get the truck washed. And... Um, Good to go then you see we can um we can get a nice clean truck for the rest of our for probably to probably be hammering it down my rain tomorrow so in our look so for all on five minutes we'll have a clean truck but he's trying to put the effort in, in it and the thought that counts so that's the plan at the minute we're currently 29 miles away now we're just coming up to the outskirts of derby on the a38 to Cut round outskirts on that, and then it's just straight up big hill past Riddings and Alfreton and that. And try and get past these slow cars. So we'll uh, crack on and get over to Junction 29 and get parked up. There we are, just coming down to 29 truck stop. Yay! We're on nine hours 45 driving. We're about to tick up. Busy, busy day. We had today, must have done now on 500 mile I think. Can't be far off, maybe about 460 something like that. And if this lad's part of parking or not, but we're going round anyway. Oof, what a day, yeah. What a day. I think what I might do is I might come back round and I'm gonna take one of these spots here. That's like opposite the pumps. So I'm not going to be going till late in the morning. You know, everyone only gone. I'll get straight out. So, or do I go on the back row? Do we nice go on the back row? Might go on the back row. Never actually been on there to be fair. There we go. We've got 15 minutes left. It's saying I might spin it and I might go on back row. I took me. Also, oh, I don't know. I'd still knocking about. Be into here, we'll see. Yeah, we'll go in here. See, I'm torn now. I've torn myself. No, we're gonna go round back. We're going back road. We'll never park there. We'll go around the back. This is problem with OCD, is this you see? I hate it. I'm gonna come round this way. I'm gonna get on the back row next to the next next to the container. That's it, we're done then. That'll do us. That will do us. Oof. I am ready for this. I am ready for it. Say it's just been one of them. One of them long days today. We'll easily get it in here and we'll get out easily in the morning because like I say, it's everyone will have gone by that point. Couldn't get all oh, lock off. Didn't get it off quick enough. We'll get it now. We'll get it now. Hold on. Round she comes. Just gonna straighten up a little bit, and then we're in. And then we're in. Never look straight in mirrors. Nearly there. I think that'll do us. So I'm gonna quickly jump off, nip to the shop and nip to the toilet and I'll give you all an update when we get back. All right, so we're back in the cab now. Just been and um, been and booked in so we're just trying out something new for a new angle so yeah we've been and booked in and we've um, all sorted and ready to ready to book off for the night I'm just putting all my leads away that I've had out for date and then 
we're good to book off so we're just coming up to five o'clock uh, well we've got nine minutes left yet so we'll book off at five so that's a 14 hour day today from when we started uh, nine hours 47 of that is driving so just putting everything away being proactive that's not gonna go oh, is it gonna oh, hang on bear with hang in there there we go so that's that put away so yeah we're gonna start at between seven, half seven and eight o'clock in the morning i'm not sure yet I've not decided, I'll see how what time I wake up and how noisy is it, it is in here, but it's not usually that bad, but I've never parked on this back road, like I've said, so we'll certainly see how it ends up. Looks like I've got someone coming parking next to me, another container, Gold Star, so that's always good, so, oh no, he's going, see you later. <laughs> so I'm going to get off and end this video, get some tea and get an early night, I think, and get get a good night's sleep so i can be a bit more energized for for tomorrow and see what happens we're not sure yet what's happening we've no work through we just got to be up at, at iport for um so he's just parking over there now he's gold star just be up at iport for well be there for 10 o'clock so if we get there 20 past nine or something like that that'd be all right so we're gonna try and get truck washed in the morning that's the plan i want to do get it washed so i'm gonna get off and I will see you all tomorrow.